Get your quills ready. Today we're making blackberry ink. Blackberries grow in many gardens and, depending where in the world you live, wild in the forests. You don't need a lot for this project. Around 10 will be plenty, if you're worried about wasting food. Speaking of food, you'll also need a pot, ideally one that will not be used for cooking food later. Add a little bit of water, not too much, or the ink will be diluted. And a shot of vinegar. The acid in the vinegar will bring out the color. And a teaspoon of alum. Alum acts as a fixative and has been used in fabric dyeing since the Middle Ages. You can buy it off Amazon. I'm also adding half a teaspoon of table salt. I read that it supports the alum, but I'm not a chemist, so frankly I have no idea whether that's real or whether I just wasted half a gram of salt. Maybe I'll do some experiments along those lines at some point. Now put the pot on the hob and slowly bring to a boil. Let the blackberries cook for a few minutes until they release their color. Get out a small jar, a funnel if you need it, and a fine mesh sieve. I decided to live on the edge and forgo the funnel. That's pretty good color and I'm very happy with it. I thought I was done and had already closed the jar, but then I remembered I forgot the gum arabic. Gum arabic is a thickener that will make the ink easier to lose and stick to the page. I used half a teaspoon. While we wait for the ink to cool, I'm going to run through the ingredients again. Berries, water, vinegar, salt, alum and gum arabic. So let's try the ink out. That's looking pretty good, but let's check the aptitude for letter writing. I found a goose feather in the park a few months ago and I've always wanted to make a feather quill. It works! I'm so excited! At first, I was going to end the video here. You see, I'm writing thanks for watching. But it looks pretty blotchy. So I went back and practiced a bit more, and what do you know? With a little bit of practice, the lines got a lot nicer looking. I've still got a bit of trouble with the rounds, you know, the ease here. Maybe I'll get that down too eventually. For now, I'm very happy with my ink and quill. So, who wants a letter? The pandemic should be the perfect opportunity to take up letter writing, right? Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, why not subscribe?